What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today we find ourselves on another adventure and man it is freaking windy out here. I'm gonna make this real short and simple out here but today you can see we got the, uh, the old snowmobile. First time bringing her out and it's amazing not walking. It, walking the last month has been brutal so we said screw it the ice is thick enough after this cold snap and uh yeah snowmobile time so that's that's awesome but if i go ahead and turn the camera around you can see I've got this beautiful eskimo outbreak 850 xd and the reason we came prepared with the big one today is let me go inside we have obviously brandon howdy and if i come to the back special guest what's going on guys John how's it going layman from mindac Made the trip, and why'd you make the trip over, John? I made the trip to watch the 49ers game. Uh, you guys know how that one turned out. Still supporting the crew today, but... Hey, right on, man. Hopefully the lens is not too foggy, but yes, we are out here, Brad and I, with John. And we are going to be camping for the next 48 hours, but instead of doing a 48-hour like and condense it into a really long video like our last one we're going to be splitting it up into two different episodes hopefully because we just have a lot of action and a lot of good times out here so we will have to see we just got everything set up it has been a hectic day and it is brutally cold windy out so we decided well, let's just get all of that out of the way not film any of it but we're here we have ifish pros out um, and then we're gonna just be chilling in the eskimo jigging some fish hopefully um john is hoping to get something over 24 inches because that's about the biggest he's seen all year hopefully this lake does have some giants so yeah hopefully in the next 48 hours we can get something done i would hope to god that we could that's a long freaking time so nice and warm in here we we'll go ahead get a rod we're gonna get some gopros running and see what happens well did not take too long just set down the camera after filming our intro and uh we just got our first flag of the evening usually out here we get some of the smaller ones early a lot of times the bigger ones come afterwards but you just never know this lake has some giants so let's go check out the first leg <laughs> where are you <laughs> oh. Oh. oh oh boy boys i'm setting the fire Ooh. flags Two. John Lehman setting the fire flags. This one's ripping. So this one that we have behind us uh, just went up a little bit ago, and we as we were walking to it, this one just went up. We scared them to bite. Yeah, triggered them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Have fun with that. He might have dropped it. It seems like yes, he did. Dropped it. Dang. Well, we got another one to go check out, see what's going on. Got him. Oh my god! What is it gonna be? I'm guessing small walleye. Come on. Get up, baby. Just a little fry. Ooh, ouch. Get up here. Come on. Woo! Good way to start the night. Like I said, a lot of times we get those little ones right away. Ooh, yeah, if, you, if you're ready, I'm ready. To keep them in the water. Keep them in the water just because it's very cold out. Nick just got the hook out, small little walleye. Nothing too fancy. I'm gonna go ahead and get him back right away. Oh God. We literally just stopped recording. Oh man, this wind is brutal. What's going on? What was that? <laughs> what did I just watch? Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> we don't even question what that just was. Oh, Ooh, we're getting bigger, boys. <laughs> yeah, that one's really dark too. Look at the size of the sucker. This is in his mouth. We're targeting bigger ones, but that's a nice one. I would really enjoy it to not hit these tip-ups though. I'd rather catch this size in the shack and then uh, we'd catch just all the big ones out here. But you can't pick and choose. Fish is a fish. Get him back right away. See you buddy. Thanks for playing the game. Oh, this is brutal. We might have to just like 
put the biggest things ever and hope to God they don't go up unless it's a big one because this is Woo, she's nippy. Well, as you can see, we've got one right here, currently out of commish. We've got another one up behind us. John actually just took one. If you guys want to see all the footage that John is filming out here today, you can head over to the Mindak Outdoors channel. He's going to be making a video while we are out here on this camping trip as well. There's going to be a lot of fish catches. So you guys can watch all of the content here in this video and everything that's going to be posted on their channel as well. Let's see if we got another fish on. There we go. Oh, a little bit better actually. Oh yeah. A little better he says. Eh? A little better or just a real good fighter. Ah, not too big, but definitely a good fighter. Super, super gold, as you can see. Big sucker, gone. There we go. Hook comes out. One last look at him. John just informed us that there's another tip up behind you, brother. Woo! Here he goes. Yeah. yeah. He just said that, too. He just put a minnow on that, like eight seconds ago. All right, we'll get a minnow on here and we're gonna go grab that next flag. Oh my God. I cannot feel my hands. This is running. We've got a mix assortment of rods out here. This is the first time using the Frostbite Digger. This is a medium action fiberglass rod. Got him. This might be my first walleye on this thing. It's right here. And we are just getting some cookie cutters, man. Holy cow. Cookie cutter, golden walleye. Man, crazy. You got that one set, we're all good? Yeah, we're good, finally. Oh, I, we're trying to not catch, we, we're trying to catch fish, we're trying to catch big ones out here. Cold, hands frozen right now. I think, I don't wanna jinx it, but we're good for right now. We just had like seven flags in a row. So now we're gonna head back to the shack, hopefully, and get our jig on. Oh, goodness gracious, we're already hooked up. This is a better one too, I think. No, it's not. Nah, just a little guys. This is actually maybe an inch longer than the rest. Well, you guys, we have made it to the shack. Things have slowed down a little bit. Brian just got hooked up. No idea how the angle is. We haven't checked the camera. Just turned it on and Brandon caught a fish. I'm gonna be honest, we have been jigging for a little bit now, probably a half an hour. And well, we've been jigging on and off all night, but we haven't gotten anything to really hit yeah but we have reverted to one of the most original best ways to jig and that is a minnow and a little treble and we're sending it down and these fish before we turn on the camera i caught three back to back to back figured wow we should probably turn on that camera and yeah they're they're hitting this we finally found what they wanted which we all knew it was going to work, we just didn't want it to work. We wanted to use some other stuff, but we're going to use whatever catches a fish. So that's kind of what we got going on here. Still got our flags out, but all flags now have giant suckers and we're hoping to only go out there if we get a big one. Well guys, we can't even keep up. John was setting this flag yeah. and as he was setting it, a fish hit the minnow before it even got down to bottom. And then if you turn, that one just went up, that one just went up, and that one just went up. This is insane. Great, this is awesome. <laughs> I literally just watched, while I was reeling this one up, I watched three flags pop up. <laughs> I'm just like, bruh. Nick's gonna help John take this one. I'm gonna go check out what's going on over here. Okay, I can't see. Oh, this is all wrapped. Uh-oh. Oh God, he's peeling. <laughs> all wrapped, complete chaos. Another fish. Wow, this is insane. He's right here about the spoon size. What is wow. going on? Still got one more flag. This is just insane. Oh, do you have your flags on your neck? Yes, I do. That year class is thriving. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. 
John's gonna get them unhooked. We just got uh, another flag here behind us we gotta attend. This is insane. Send them back, Jonathan. Gorgeous. Beauty. <laughs> Woo! Nice Hands job, boys. <laughs> yeah, how are, how are your phalanges right the now? The phalanges are freezing. Oh, God. Look at this fish charging up for me right now. Oh, boy. Give it a little wiggle. We have got three spots in the shack here to jig out of. And currently, Nick and John are replacing some minnows. I walked back into the shack to keep the camera warm. I looked at the live scope, and there are three walleyes eyeballing me. I probably shouldn't even have this in the jigging. water. <laughs> no, they're not eating jigging yet. Maybe I don't have the right presentation. I'm not sure. Maybe I just wasn't being aggressive enough. But yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> oh boy, this one is ripping. Thank you. Really ripping. Got him. This one feels a little bit more solid. I know we've caught a lot of fish, but like it randomly could be a giant at any time. Yeah. Feeling better? Yeah, I also feel like I'm in the ice. Just, like, just, just, keep, just keep reeling. That's a better fish. Oh, dang it, I gotta grab it. No. <laughs> It's a good fish. Yeah, it's a really good fish. I can tell. This might be a pike. No, no, no. No, 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 no. no. It's a walleye. It's definitely a walleye. That wind is oh ripped. Oh my gosh. Does that feel good? Shine. <laughs> I'm making no ground. I have to be. Ooh. I'm like snagged. Is it moving? Yeah, he keeps pulling line, but I'm like snagged on something. I don't think it's stuck in the ice. It's weeds, dude. It's gotta be weeds, right? Yeah, yeah it's definitely weeds because. I think it's gonna be a walleye with a lot of weeds. Or it's like a 50 pound muskie. Oh my god. Is there really not on the edge? No, it's oh. it's weeds. Oh, this is a monster fish. Come back to the hole. Come back to the hole. Let's see. Everything is freezing. Nothing is working. We have two other flags up right now, apparently, behind us. I think I got it through the weeds. Oh, I can't tell. Just keep her going. This thing would ran a lot of line. Yeah. This might be the most epic fight I've ever had on an ice rod. Here we go. We're close. Ah, We're close. Oh baby. We're gonna have to reset the depth. Wait. Oh, oh my close. god. Oh, it's a big god. pike. <laughs> big pike and another line. That's, a That's monster what's going pike. on. Look at I've got another line. <laughs> That's a monster that pike. That pike is so big. Oh my I'm god. I'm actually scared of this thing, bro. I got you. Here we go. Here, oh here, just, you pull his head up. That's 40, right? Here we go. Here, can you pull my sleeve up? Yeah. Okay. Here, just pull his head up while I grab him. Oh, almost had him. Just trying to get inside the gill. What other line? Here we go. Ready? I'll grab him, I'll just grab him, I'll grab him. There you go. Oh, big old pike. Oh, big old pike, baby. Heavy fish. Not crazy long, but whoo, that is a beauty. Look at how fat that pike is. That's like a definitely upper 30s. Yeah, upper 30s for sure. Look at that. He said, I think it's a pike. It's yeah, a pike. I know. <laughs> whoo, wow, all right. That glove is toast for the night, that's for sure. We've got another line. I don't know if he ate both or if he just swam through it, but we've got another tip up behind us and I'm guessing he swam through. Very strong fish. Oh my goodness, look at that. Freaking girth on this thing is crazy. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna give you one real good look at them here before we put them back. Dandy pike, I'd guess this is probably at least 36, 37 inches, but super, super fat. I'll go ahead and get them back. It might be longer than that. This is a big pike. Super, super nice fish. Wow. Very, very powerful, girthy. This thing is eating good. We said we were chasing giants. I wish this was the right species. Well, if that would have been a walleye. If this was a walleye, I was tugging through weeds. I was tugging through another line and we had a almost 40 inch fish on. There she goes. Ooh. She didn't want to go back, but man, wow. <laughs> When my hands have, are cold so i can imagine too, so. yeah yep we've got one right there one right there well one of them i think i'm assuming the one behind us she swam through because i did pull that other line up but what a fish i'm freezing cold i'm gonna try to rejuvenate my hands and these boys are gonna go catch some more fish this is insane we're trying to jig we've had so many fish every time we come in there's like just countless fish on the screen can't do it that's fine we got plenty of time we're out here for 48 hours but we just had like four flags. The one that Brandon tangled in with the pike was actually on a different rod. And on the rod, you know, he was just set down the other line that was tangled in. I went over there to like kind of start fixing some stuff. There was a walleye on that rod, which was the rod that was not even close to it actually had the pike. Like, I, I don't even know how it happened. I don't know how we caught the fish crazy catch just a casual like 40 inch pike but we got another flag so <sighs> just go bear the cold again i guess <laughs> that's what you want to see right there this is running with it now fish Feels a little nicer. A little bit. Nothing too crazy. It could be the biggest one of the day so far, huh? Mm -hmm. I think that is. Not bad. Hope that's, I mean, that was the ideal plan, right? Putting the bigger ones out for bigger fish. Still not even remotely close to what we're looking for, but. It's a good start. All right, probably like a, I don't know, 21 inch fish. There he goes. Go ahead and put another big sucker on. Actually, well, we got this one, it's kind of beat up. That's the size that we're dealing with. We got some bigger ones, but this'll do for now. It'll keep at least some of the smaller ones hopefully off. We're gonna go ahead and rehook them, get back in the shack. We figured out how to get these fish jigging, so I definitely wanna continue doing that for a little bit. We do still have to eat. The bite has been too crazy to even think about that. But yeah, go ahead and get this out and uh, continue on fishing. Oh God, what up? Wow. I am so proud of you for doing this. Like, thank God I didn't have to, but wow. Aren't you, it's like cliche, like walking in a uh, Eskimo 250 and Mindax just touching some good old sausages, you know? Like, that seems just about Those right. are like two things that just go side to side, huh? Yeah. Dude, uh, okay, bringing an extra shack for a kitchen, game changer. This is actually game changer. I mean, we got all the room in here, got the trash bag, got a little storage. This is baller, dude, and like, it's not even cold in here, really, because you just turn on the propane grill and it's a little heater right there. If I step outside, we didn't show this, but we do have, I know it's dark, but we do have an extra tent. That's where we're camping right there. And we got the 250 here. And yeah, this is what we're using for the cooking quarters for the next few days. John is chefing up right now, which is just so incredibly awesome. John, those smell absolutely delicious. <laughs> Holy cow. But what I do know, Brandon, it's freaking cold out here. It's freezing. This wind just won't stop. It was supposed to die off and it it's not. I mean, it is cold, cold out here tonight. Yeah, so John, if you five minutes, bring those in. I'll be ready for them, all right? All right, sounds good. I'll give you my meat. Well, guys, John just brought us some delicious brats fresh off the grill. 
had a walleye underneath me while he was bringing them in. Otherwise, I would have been a little bit more excited. But we are ready to munch. Oh, I'm excited. Johnsonville brats. Yes. Classic anytime you're camping. Yeah. Summer, winter, spring, Ooh. fall, doesn't matter. A walleye underneath us. Oh, and that's a big one, too. He just scooted past me. He doesn't want anything to do with it. We are noticing that these fish are starting to move a lot more. We definitely went through a lull period. And, uh, yeah, they're not biting, but we're definitely seeing them swimming around a lot more. And I think the size is getting a little bit better. We consistently had cookie cutter, like 15 to 17 inch walleyes pretty much all night. And uh, you had that one that was a little bit nicer, but some of the ones that we're starting to mark are a little bit better. John, come on in, buddy. It's cold out there, bro. Yes, it is. So yeah, we've got walleyes swimming around below us. I think we are going to hammer these brats right now. We're gonna continue jigging. I think we're probably gonna give it a solid another hour or two here tonight, and then we might go through and pick everything up, but hey, you never know, big one could strike at any time. Thinking about starting to pick up our flags. Just got another one. Just slide that out of the way. Fish on. little bit better but still not the giant that we were hoping for tonight this might be one of the last flags of the evening decent little walleye go ahead grab the pliers get them unhooked I don't know guys this is crazy one heck of a night we are having but of course we're chasing giants and we just can't get away from these size fish all right there we go Whew, freezing cold out here I think we came up with the plan. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is every time we get a tip up, we're just gonna start taking one in. We just got another one right there behind John now. Actually? Yeah. Oh yeah. I just yeah. saw it blinking. <laughs> All right, well, I think we're gonna take this one in. We've got another flag right behind John here. And then that one's going in. Yeah, yeah, that one's going in. We're slowly just gonna start putting them away. Are we back to the Ooh, fish? That now? one might. Oh, that one's gonna eat. Yeah. Yep, he ate. Yeah, he's got it. Bro, what the heck? Like, imagine waking up to that, dude. Type this down. Holy cow, I have that extremely loose. Still have it incredibly loose, but I got him. The bite's back on, baby. <laughs> Woo! Ah, God. Just about the same size, but I'm enjoying them even more because I'm warm. <laughs> yeah. You know, we always are like, oh, we're chasing giants. Honestly, guys, catching walleyes like that, super enjoyable. Mm. Just when it's freezing cold, it's different. Kind of weird. Oh, I hated that. <clears throat> See you, buddy. Fish yeah. everywhere down there. Well, it's officially that time of the night. We've got the rod up in the top of the tent, rod on top of the tent, some homemade rattle reels. Brandon's getting tucked in. Oh, yeah. We got an iFish Pro right there. We have just pulled all the flags from outside, got all the gear off, and it is time to finally start winding down for the night it's probably close to one o'clock in the morning right now and i think we're gonna stay up for a little bit probably and just see if we can get some of these fish maybe to come in and hit some of these some of these baits that are just chilling but we're probably going to be going to bed in the next little bit here we're all pretty tired we're running on no sleep it's been a long day and i guess yeah from here on out we're gonna turn the lights off relax and uh maybe well, uh, if we get a fish, I guess we'll turn the lights on. We'll pull the camera out and see what happens from there. But most likely, 
We will see you guys in the morning. Is it like he has it? Look at it. Like you yeah. can see the whole thing is going. Oh, here he goes. He's starting to swim away now. Fishing from bed from the bed with NB edits? It's not bad, you know. <laughs> All right, let's set the hook on him. The stuff with beats going outside, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, it is cold out there. There he is. This is way better than going outside. Feels okay. Come on up here, bud. Not too shabby. Whoop. Oh, thank you for that. Ah, oh, look at that, guys. A walleye right from bed. Not too shabby. And it's beautiful in here. There's no wind, there's no snow. It's not nearly as cold. I do need my pliers. Hey, can you tell a fish to give Mindak some love back here? Yeah. What the heck? I think they don't like the chub. <laughs> Really? Well, he was just using that. No, he's using the sucker. Yeah, there's a sucker on. Well, I, what do I have on? A creek chub. What? <laughs> yeah, I think we need to switch that, like, pronto. Nick's got one near him. Might just hit, we're not sure, but there's the first one in the shack on woo, the iFish Pro for the night. They were supposed to hit when we were sleeping. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even make it to bed, and we already uh, got one right out of the cot, so pretty fun, not gonna lie. That was pretty sweet, so yeah, we're gonna keep at it, see what happens. I don't know why John's hole is not getting the love, but right now, Nick and I, where we are positioned, it's looking good. We might have to just let John take the next flag here. Possibility. Well, good morning, everybody. 7.25. That whole morning bite thing that we were going to do, going outside, setting flags, that didn't happen. But we still had our flags and rods and stuff in here, and we heard mine was going for a little bit there and didn't have anything. And then we just had this flag pop. So I'm not sure if there's actually a fish here or what's going on, but we're going to check it out. This will be a sign how we're starting our day right here. I like it. Let's check it out. And there is a fish. Good start to the day, boys. John, sleeping. Unbelievable. I mean, it feels like... Starting to feel better. It's all right, but... It doesn't feel like monstrous, but it feels decent. It's getting close now. Come on. Well, it's decent. You got a little weed. Oh. Okay, that's too big to do that. Oh, God. There we go. Nice. Wow. Well, Wisconsin gold to start the morning. And it's actually the biggest fish so far of the trip, probably. Maybe that one I had on the tip up was about the same size. But it's a nice one to start the morning for sure. 
Yeah. Hey, by the way, also, I don't have my contacts in, so like I actually can't see this. So oh. It's what's, actually 30 inches neck. So what's actually going to happen <laughs> is you're going to take this fish and unhook him. Yeah, let that's, me help you out here. That's what's going to happen here. All right. All righty, guys. One last look at Nick's fish. Hooks just came out. Even though uh, Nick doesn't have his contacts in yet this morning, I would have to agree. That is probably the best walleye of the trip. I'd say that was probably about an inch and a half better than the one you had last night. That was a good fish. Oh, great googly moogly, Hamilton. What's going on in here? Well, Brandon, we're doing a little bit of chefing for the boys. Those are looking fire. We've got some potatoes, making some scrambled eggs, and we've got Johnsonville, some little smokies. Dang. Only premium cuts of pork. Big pork guy. <laughs> yeah, that's looking fire. It's looking pretty good, Brandon. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting pretty hungry, man. Chef Raymond at its finest. Does NB Edits fans need a motivational speech for the day? Sure. Yeah, hit me with something. All right, so I just want to say get up. Get out and go for it. Ultra Sunrise is dedicated to those who sacrifice sleep for passion. Chase your dreams, kids. Alrighty guys, well, John is whipping up breakfast. I'm gonna grab some plates and some forks and uh, yeah, we're gonna go ham on this breakfast right now. Oh God. John Lehman chefing up. I thought the brats were awesome at midnight. No, this breakfast looks amazing. We got some, what, potatoes, eggs? What do we all got going on here? I don't know. Yep, seasoned potatoes, scrambled eggs, and some little smokies. God, I was in here just big chilling while everybody else was working today. Well, guys, this is probably where we're gonna be ending today's video. But like we said in the intro, we're out here for a whole nother day, 48 hours but we wanted to separate it just to put more content out for you guys. Plus, there's a lot of content that goes into two days of ice camping. If you guys haven't seen our last video, go check it out. You'll see that for yourselves. But we're gonna sit in here, enjoy our breakfast. We got a long day ahead of us again. Um, right now, I think it's about 10.30, 11 o'clock. We do have to run into town, unfortunately. I didn't want to do this, but we have to because last night's bite was so crazy. We gotta go get a ton of more minnows and uh, I think we're gonna get another thing of propane just because we don't want it to die out here uh, during the night because that would just be really unfortunate. So we got a few things to do. Then we're gonna come back out here, set up, do some more uh, walleye fishing. Today I think we're really gonna hammer out the jigging bite. That's something that we really wanted to do yesterday that we just did not get the chance. Oh, my bad. It's a great, great job chef. on the meal. Thanks, yeah. man. I'm glad you're working and I'm not doing nothing. Uh, just two dudes sharing one cot and eating some sausages. Like Nick said, we're going to smash this breakfast. We're going to run into town, go do our chores for the day, and then get right back onto the grind. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to slap that thumbs up button for us. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. You're going to want to stay tuned for day two because I'll tell you what, we did not get into any giants, but man, we hammered some fish last night. And I'm thinking that if the big ones weren't biting last night, they eventually got to eat. So hopefully tonight and into tomorrow morning, we will get some bigger fish, or maybe it'll just be another numbers night. Hard to say, but we're gonna try to get into that jigging bite. We will see you guys on the next one. Tight lines from NB Edits. Woo!